Three counts of aggravated murder. Now we continue our team coverage by heading out to our Chancellor Wynn as the community in Monroe Township is still grieving this loss. Candace, we are live here in Monroe Township, just across the street from that crime scene. And as we mentioned, you know, this community is more than that loss and they are coming together. In fact, I want you to take a look behind me. This is a memorial that has continued to grow throughout tonight. As you can see, residents and neighbors are still coming together here, even at 10 o'clock at night, to place balloons, flowers, and even candles, hoping to honor the lives of those three young brothers. The loss of three children is just undescribable and it's horrific. Becky Wooten's husband, Robert, is the lead pastor of Connection Point Church in New Richmond. They opened their church doors, inviting neighbors to mourn with one another 24 hours after the three young brothers were killed by their father, 32-year-old Chad Dorman. People don't feel safe to speak and, and that's really what tonight's about. Really, some, some folks want to come and speak and talk and uh, we want to give them a safe place to do that. The brothers were only three, four and seven years old. You see such joy in life and such promise. And, you know, when you look at another little child, you just think that it's it's just so unnecessary for these things to happen. Sarah Stapleton is an intervention specialist at New Richmond Middle School. On Thursday night, she came to Connection Point Church as a shoulder to lean on. Stapleton says she's already been consoling other young children. They just didn't understand what was happening. Him. A lot of emotions, anger, um, confusion. During tragic times like this, Stapleton adds that sometimes children simply are needing to express their feelings. But just being there, being a listening ear, sometimes they just want to talk and they don't really want advice. They just want you to listen and hug on them and love them. The same love is also extending to the mother of the three young boys. Stapleton tells me she personally knows the mother and wants to tell her she is loved. I know everything has just happened. Um, but we have a community of people here that are ready to support you, love you, and for you to lean on. Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, First Baptist Church in New Richmond will be holding a prayer service to honor the lives of those three young sons, three young boys as well. Reporting live in Monroe Township, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chancellor, I have a question for you, and I want to go back to what Candace pointed out because I noticed it too. When you watch the video of Chad Dorman being arrested, he shows very little emotion. When you see him in court today, you see tears welling up in his eyes. He's showing a lot of emotions. By talking with people who live in that community, were you able to find out more about Chad Dorman? So the closest we could come to was speaking to one of the teachers, Sarah. She actually uh, knows Chad Dorman's wife, the woman who was the mother of those three young sons. We did not get too much into the details of who Chad was, but again, last night we spoke with neighbors, and one of those neighbors actually mentioned seeing how Chad was interacting with his sons in their yard, sometimes being a bit too aggressive with them is how he would describe it. But again, we are still working to learn more details about Chad Dorman and his demeanor and his relationship with his family. Yeah, and, and you know, it doesn't matter what, when we find out the motive, what it is, um, it just doesn't make any sense under any circumstances. And I'm sure people who live in that community feel the same way, um, knowing that this man, this, these children, and his wife were their neighbors. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that really stood out to me. We were speaking with adults, some of them who were parents and grandparents themselves, and they were mentioning how they are struggling to really wrap their mind around what actually happened. So you can only imagine how children, possibly children who knew these three young boys, are reacting. And I think even in that story, we heard one of the women speaking about how some children really just are still trying to wrap their minds around it as well and really just using this as an opportunity to speak with adults and others and counselors trying to express their feelings because right now there really are not enough answers to really understand exactly why this happened. Uh, and, and as we look behind you, Chancellor, we see people gathering. It's at 10 at night, at 10 10 09 exactly. And you can understand it when you once again remember. They were three, four, and seven years old. Chancellor, thank you very much. You know, family members have set up a GoFundMe site for the boy's mother. As of tonight, more than $46,000 have been raised. Police have not released a possible motive, but we are continuing to ask that question. Our team is also reaching out to family members and others who knew Chad Dorman. As we get updates, we're going to share them with you on air, online, and of course on our free mobile news app. You can scan that QR code to download it.
free of charge. New tonight, the Dearborn County Sheriff's deputies say 